So the Lama 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 combination is really uh, the concept is not new. Uh, we have for many years used short acting beta agonist and short acting anticholinergic put together. Pharmacologically it makes sense because they, they work through a different mechanism. The beta agonist activate the beta 2 receptor, the anticholinergic they block the M3 receptor on the smooth muscle. So when you put two together naturally you get a better effect. In fact some studies now suggest that there may be a synergistic effect meaning one plus one is not only two it's possibly three. So there may be a potentiation of effect when you put them together. Now what do clinical trials show? They do show that they improve lung function, they improve symptoms compared to one drug alone, uh, they improve exercise tolerance. Uh, there's actually a very nice study published during the last year looking at cardiovascular function in these hyperinflated patients, you know, COP patients have hyperinflation, which can actually put the pressure on the heart so that the heart function is not as normal. In one study, they showed that using a lava lama can actually, a combination drug, can improve cardiovascular function. So they may go, their effect may go beyond the lung. Now, one of the big question is whether they reduce exacerbation based compared to just one long-acting bronchodilator alone. There are studies that are conflicting. Some studies show yes, some studies show maybe. Also, there are studies comparing a lava lama with lava in ICS combination, that's another combination available. Uh, and some of these studies show some superiority to LABA LAMAs over LABA ICS. Uh, you know, I still believe some patients with COPD definitely benefit from inhaled corticosteroid, a combination. That group of patients are the high exacerbators. And maybe those patients with high blood eosinophils, uh, which is a biomarker that predicts exacerbation. Uh, in these patients and possibly a response to inhaled corticosteroid.